Hi guys, I wanted to show you this cool little hummingbird fountain that I made, mostly with things I already had, and then these little pumps that I ordered on Amazon. Now, there's several types of these little pumps. You can get them where they just have a regular electric plug on them. You can get them with um, a solar panel attached to it, and you can get it with, which I think is really cool, are these ones like this where it's a USB plug. So then the USB plug can not just be plugged into a uh, one of the little USB plugs and go to electricity, but more importantly, it can go into one of these little power banks. So you could have this little fountain on your porch in the shade, out back when it's starting to get dark and there's no direct sunlight. Um, you don't have to have cords going across the ground because it's um, plugged into this little thing. Now, of course, these are not waterproof. I'm sure there are some waterproof ones, but the ones I have are not. But what I'm going to do is I'm putting this on a bench out back, and then I'm just going to figure out a way to either tape it or put a little bracket or something, and it'll be up under the bench. So it'll be out of the elements, and if it's really coming down pouring or it snows real heavy, I'll just go out there and retrieve my little battery. Uh, my little power bank rather but anyway I just want to show you how I put this together um, this is actually just this plastic um, takeout container or I think maybe it came with actually I think it was a frozen meal container um, this is just a little these are these Ike Ikea you see all the scratches on them I've had these forever probably 18 years ever since I moved here they're just little snack plates and since I have way more than I really need for being a single person. I figured I would sacrifice one to this to this project. So all I did is I realized I didn't have a um, soldering iron to like melt this with, but I do have this wood burning kit. So I'm like, you know, I don't use the wood burning kit that much. And if I do get a little bit of plastic on one of the tips, it's not a big deal. Um, so yeah, it worked perfectly. I made a little hole in the middle for where the pump goes. And then I made a bunch of little extra holes which will help divert the water back down into the bowl. So then it'll just circulate through. So let me show you guys how this works. So here is my little battery backup. I'm gonna plug this in and then turn it on. And there you go. There is a super cute little fountain. Now I will note that this bowl is maybe a little too small because on a windy day it could blow this um, uh, water out of the bowl, but it looks pretty good um, Unfortunately the pumps that I bought uh, you can't adjust the water flow. So I would say look for um, There may be ones where you can lower it a bit kind of similar how the cat fountains have that as well But I am going to put this out back in the morning and I will um, Hopefully get some videos of our little hummingbirds drinking out of this um, I guess a little sparrows and chickadees could use this too, but mainly I'm thinking about my cute little hummingbird out back. So hopefully I show you guys some pictures and videos really soon.